Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Ma'akim Ba'akwa. I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from the ArabNews.com. And it reads Houthis will always threaten Red Sea, even if God's war ends, says Al Alma Al Halami. Alami, yeah, that's his name, Al Alami. It says, uh, speaking at the uh, Munch Security Conference on Saturday, Rasha Al Hamali. It says, I said, the only way to remove the danger was through military operations. This is published by Shadi Al Batati. February the 18th, 2024. And that's what's last updated. This is from ArabNews.com. It says Yemen's Houthis militant will continue to ensure conflict in the Red Sea even if Israel Hamas war ended, according to the chairman of the Yemen's presidential leadership. Speaking at the month's security conference on Saturday, Rasha Al Alami said only. One way to remove the danger was through military operations. He said the current strikes by the U.S. and U.K. will not deteriorate Houthi's threats, but vows to defeat the organization and end its attacks if his government received international backing and Iran was pressured to end its support, military support. To push an end of the Suti prior prophecy, we must address the threat's origins and source. This can only be accomplished by restoring the state intuitions, I mean institutions, putting an end to the group and applying maximum pressure on the Iran regime, the Yemen leader said. Since the Houthis began the Red Sea strikes in November, Yemen government has sought international assistance to evict them from Yemen territories under their control. But Al Alami warned that if they were not destroyed, they would use the Red Sea as a negotiation chip. He blamed Iran for financing the Houthis' assault as well as the Yemen instability. As long as Iran continued to back this military, but provided weapons to it, it will continue to pose a danger to the Red Sea. Shipping and may blackmail of the regions in the future, said the Yemen leader. The Houthis have launched hundreds of drones and missiles against commercial and naval ships in the Red Sea. Now, Amab says, Abab al Adam in the Gulf of Aden, of the, I mean, the Gulf of Aden, over the past few months, the organization claims to exclusively strike ships linked to or distant from Israel, forcing the country to allow military supplies to reach the besieged God's script. In response to the assaults, the U.S. support by several partners has carried out dozens of strikes on military installations. During, it says, drone and missile launchers and other sites in Houthi control in Yemen. Similar to the uh, Yemen's information minister, Mahmar al Ariana said he has sent letters to the CEOs of key social media forums requesting that accounts for Houthi's officials and the military media propaganda materials be deleted from their platform. Posting on X, the Yemen minister sent letters bearing his stamp and signature to the platform leaders as well as those of Facebook, TikTok, uh, Telegram, Instagram, urging them to comply with the United States designation of the Houthis as groups, as bad groups. We confirmed that Houthi militant pages on social media platforms, whether official or affiliated with individuals, leaders in media, figures, activists, are spreading group ideas promoting H-A-T-E speech 
enticing violence and murder and brainwashing children and recruiting the the Al Arani, I mean Er Arani, said. Meanwhile, Yemen advancing in Cairo said on Sunday that the Brigadier General Hassan Fahmar Al Abadiha, the head of the Yemen Army's military production department, has been discovered dead from stab wounds the Egyptian officials are investigating. And this is uh, the prophet Joel 3 and verse 9. It says, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. The prophet Joel 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares and the swords and pony hooks and the spears and let the weak say I'm strong. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article from AirNews.com. And it says again, Houthis will always threaten Red Sea even if gods of war end, says Al-Alamai. So with that, once again, hopefully the lesson was uh, edifying. With that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and then his only begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Kahashah. Those are the true names in the ancient pedigree of Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole time. And Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa Aki and Wa Aguaf. Until next time, I will sing Shalom.